Hey you guys, this is ZTB here, and I just want to show you something really cool. And this is probably the only reason why you should buy a Wii U if you don't own one already. So I'm just going to log in, I'm going to put my password in. Alrighty, so now there's my me, and there's the home menu. So now I'm going to access my internet browser, which is right over here. And I'm going to go straight to my internet browser. Now let me open these curtains, because I don't want to hide anything. So I'm going to access this bookmark called Lodine Access Gate. And I'm going to start it up. And here is the official Wii U homebrew. Finally! Oh my god, it's been like three years, three or four years, but finally here is the homebrew for the official Wii U mode. So you can play Wii U games, like backup Wii U games, on your Wii U. Yeah, for free. So this is the loading. It's a Wii U homebrew. It launches Wii U games from backup SD card. And I downloaded a few Wii U games from online for free. Um, and I put in my SD card. So I'm going to show you it right now. I'm going to launch it. And it's launching the homebrew for the Wii U. And it's going to get this loading screen. And then you're going to get the, uh, the Wii U boot screen, which is the white and the Wii U logo at the bottom right and here it is the homebrew launcher this is the official homebrew for the Wii U but now I'm going to show you what we came here for which is the loading app and I'm going to show you my backups so here it is this is Hyrule Warriors I got Hyrule Warriors I got Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD I got Super Mario Maker and I got Star Fox Zero so I got four Wii U games so far so I'm going to load up Hyrule Warriors and we get a couple of things. We get an update folder to put our updates. We get a launch mode for extra saves and save mode. And we can also enable and disable DLCs. But we're going to load up Hyrule Warriors and we're going to start this show. Alrighty, here we go. This is it. This is it. Hyrule Warriors for the Wii U. So we're going to load it up and we're going to do Legend Mode. Actually, no, I think we're going to do um, Free Mode, not Legend Mode, what I'm saying. I'm going to see the difficulty. I just want to see how hard the game is. And I already got two modes already here. I unlocked. I got the Elden Caves and Hyrule Field. So I'm going to play as their Sheik and Impa. I'm going to play as Link. And I'm going to use. Mm, the magic rod I haven't used yet, mm, but I'm not going to use it now. I'm going to use Island Sword, and I'm going to use, mm, let's see which sword I'm going to use for the Night Sword. I'm going to use the Light. Why not? So now the game is officially booting and it's working. And this is pretty cool, because now we finally get to play backup Wii U games. It's been for the longest that we've been waiting for a homebrew for the Wii U, and now it's finally here. Um, I know they had a homebrew for the Wii mode, as you know, for the for the Wii U, but this time we actually get to play backup Wii U games, and it's a. I'm just so ecstatic. I'm so happy we finally got it. But we're gonna start the battle, and here we go. Hyrule Warriors in full effect. Oh my God, this is the first time I'm actually recording this game. Oh my goodness. Let's kill these mobbins. Bam! Let's kill these mobbins' ass. And believe it or not, um, I actually played this game um, a couple of times. I was, well, believe it or not, you can actually saw it in the Titan Caves, but it's actually uh, not a hard game to learn. It was more so confusing at first because it does use the Dynasty Warriors uh, mechanics. Um, but it also has a spin on Zelda. It kind of is like a combination of Twilight Princess meets Dynasty Warriors 
kind of sort of thing, but the gameplay is pretty damn fun. Um, your main objective is to really um, look at the map, and the map will pretty much tell you where to go and what to do. You really want to keep each outpost um, safe, if you can, um, by defeating a uh, outpost captain who is essentially a monster or could be like a general character that's guarding the outpost and you have to defeat that character essentially to try to clear the outpost that the other Hyrulean knights and the party or team can advance further. If you don't clear the outpost, well, you can lose the game and here we have a little cutscene here with this fairy. And she goes inside of her body. Her name is Proxy and she's pretty much gonna be our speaking, our voice She's going to be our voice for the game. Um, I'm going to bomb this uh, boulders out the way. And I'm going to use my special on these moblins or bokoblins or whatever the names are. I call, I'm going to call them um, bokoblins because that's, that's how they look like in Skyward Sword. And they're really short in this game. You'd think it's, they'd be a little bit bigger, but they're actually really short. Um, so far, we're kicking these bokoblins' ass. I really should have called them Bokoblins from the beginning of the game. But, yeah, Bokoblins, not Moblins. But so far, I'm loving this. This homebrew is just absolutely amazing. You know, things you can do in this game, the um, the different type of um, different type of games, and, and I can't wait for the different type of apps we can actually do, like playing you know backup GameCube games with like 1080p graphics. I mean, that's like one thing I'm waiting for. So you know, hopefully, the homebrew just started not too long ago for the for the um, Wii U firmware uh, 5.50, but here's a cutscene, so awesome cutscene. And this guy is called Dragon Knight Volga. Totally not related to Volvagia from Ocarina Time. Totally not. And our ancestors pretty much kicked you guys' evil asses. I'm pretty sure your ancestor was Volvagia, and my ancestor pretty much whooped his snake lizard behind. That's what he's gonna do now. You think we're gonna get out your way? You really don't know who we are, or know who our ancestors were. Oh crap! Get him, Link! Ah, oh, come on. Even the shield didn't work. And we introduced to this character, which I said it before, her name was Impa. Impa, you can do this, you can help us. I hope Impa takes the fall for us and just like, you know. Crap! Oh no! Damn!